About six months ago, I made a video on when we could expect to see 5th gen aircraft in War Thunder. I also made various other predictions in that video, and it was all based off how fast Gaijin has been adding different airframes, their variants, and other weapons along the way. So far, it has been decently accurate, outside of the F-15E coming a bit earlier than I had thought, this year instead of sometime next year. Overall, I still think it's fairly accurate, with 5th gen fighters like the F-22, F-35, and others coming at about the end of 2026. Just this last update, we got the F-117 Nighthawk game, which has first generation stealth capabilities. It paved the way for even more stealthy planes, such as the F-22, F-35, and even the B-2, which all have much better capabilities than the F-117. In this video, I'll be talking about what I think the F-117 means for 5th gen fighters in general when it comes to the game, especially with it being added so soon. Also, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal of 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I also have a link in the description to my Discord for anyone interested. Now, for those wondering, here is the timeline I posted in my original 5th gen prediction video. At the time, I hadn't really considered that Gaijin would add the Nighthawk, but it does make sense from a tactical standpoint. Currently, they have absolutely bare-bones coding in terms of stealth. All they currently have is a multiplier for the front, the sides, and the rear of the aircraft for both the infrared and radar signature. It would seem it is relative to the base physical cross-section of the plane, but without knowing that, we can't actually determine how accurate the F-117 stealth is in relation to its real RCS that we do know. Now, Gaijin probably won't do this, but here's what I think they should do. They should create a rudimentary polygonal 3D model for each plane for its RCS. Similar to this graph for the F-117's RCS, though it doesn't have to be quite as detailed, but also including the top and the bottom of the aircraft as well. Seeing as though one of the leaks from a month or so ago showed that the F-22 was being worked on, I imagine their plan is to continue working on stealth models for a while, though the flight model of the F-22 will also be another hard task. Even if I'm right, and we won't see these planes in game for about two years, it still makes a lot of sense to start working on them now. You also have to take into account that stealth is by far not the only part of these planes. What I think we're going to see is the introduction of more planes that each have some of the characteristics of different 5th gen planes. Obviously now we're getting the stealth aspect, but next we might see the introduction of some planes with thrust factoring like the SU-35S or even the SU-47, which would be a great event vehicle. For the US side, we can see planes like the F-18 Harv or the F-16 Vista, which are both 3D thrust vectoring planes like the SU-35S and the SU-47 I already mentioned. Pretty much all of these would be great options, and more is probably better in terms of making sure they're able to get automated thrust vectoring working. We also might see current planes like the AV-8B Plus get the ability to see through their clear pod on the HUD, similar to how the F-35 can use its helmet to see through the cameras. We already have MAWs in-game on various planes like the Mirage 2000, J-11, and the A-10C. The F-117 is just the start of a long series of tests, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see tweaks to the stealth on the Nighthawk. Now, you might still be thinking about the title of this video and be like, yeah, sure, we knew 5th gens were coming eventually, but what does the F-117 really mean for them? And for that, I say at least to me, it looks like they're trying to make sure everything is as accurate as they can get it. Obviously, when you have stuff like this that is just super classified, it can't be perfect. But they'll just have to do what they can to make their stealth and flight models in other systems as realistic as possible. While I wasn't expecting the F-117 to be added right now, it kind of makes sense to me. The ability to actively get data while you're working on the F-22 or any other plane like it is super helpful. In fact, I would be very surprised if they are only working on the F-22 right now. I would imagine they're probably working on at least another, like the Su-57 or the J-20. Also, in my original prediction video, I had said I believe the F-35 would be the first 5th gen to come to the US tech tree, since it would also be going to many other trees as well. However, that may not be the case, seeing as though the F-22 is what is being worked on according to the leaks. But then again, like I had just said, it's also likely they're working on multiple planes at once. As if it wasn't obvious, by basic logic alone, Gaijin had stated a while ago that they intended to add 5th gens to the game. But this was probably well before they had any real plans as to how they would go about it, where it seems there is some general plan for how to go about it now, like slowly adding different aircraft that have similar systems to those of 5th gens. Also, I had predicted different weapons I expect to see in the previous video on this topic, 
And that's another thing I see Gaijin starting to ramp up as we get closer to these next-gen planes. Obviously, we want non-stealth planes to have a chance, so they will also need to start getting better missiles or have more variants added with better missiles. In fact, if you saw my last video, this may be even something we see in this next update in the form of the Python 4. While the Python 4 doesn't have thrust vectoring capability, it is still extremely maneuverable, has very good IRCCM, and it has a pretty long range too. This could be a good testing ground to see how ready we are for missiles like the AIM-9X, Mica IR, or even the IRIS-T. These are missiles we will probably see closer to the addition of the 5th gens, and they will be needed to fight against them. Despite that we are just on the first generation of FOX-3 missiles, we very well may see some upgrades come our way soon. We could see missiles like the M120C5 or the R-77-1 in order to start pushing the scope. I'm thinking it'll probably be a bit further away than this update, but we'll see these and other missiles eventually. Overall, the point of this video is really just to tell you that there's still a lot of work to be done before these modern and advanced fighters are added. There will still be plenty of tests and signs they're getting closer, some more obvious than others. But in the meantime, there will still be tons of new content for us to play, whether it's just random new stuff or other content designed for the future of the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and let me know when you think the F-22 and other 5th gens will come to the game.